The week of rail fanning started at the normal spot near milepost 17. I went down to hang out at the bridge to see if a train was coming. Shortly, a green signal came. A train soon approached and it was led by a UP ST70 ACE number 8530. There was only one locomotive on a short mixed freight, some rare freight cars as well as a nice K5 LLA horn salute. I had no luck most of the week and I didn't see any trains until Saturday, but I did find lots of new concrete ties laying around the tracks. Saturday finally rolled around. I found a train at 11.45. This was an auto rack train led by only one locomotive, UP AC44 CW CTE number 5670. It was working really hard to go up the grade. Sundays where most of the action came when I first caught a train at 1045. This was a loaded coal train led by UP ET44 AC 2561 and UP AC44 CW number 6918. Soon came the rear DPU, UP AC 44 CW number 6269. While I was in Valley, I saw the local waiting in the yard. There was also some trains farther down. On my way over to Elkhorn, I saw a power move. First was UPAC 44 CW 6617, then UPAC 44 CW 6390, ES 44 AC 5410, an original one, and UPSD 70 M 3808. Here I noticed track two is mainly concrete, but it turns back into wood here at these at these rail joints near the signals. The last train of the day that I saw was a loaded coal train moving at slow speed. It was led by original UPES 44 AC 5514 and UPET 44 AC 2665.
a slow, long cold train, here came the rear DPU, UP-SD70AH number 9071. Thanks for watching. That's all I caught this week from Milepost 21 in Elkhorn, Nebraska. This is Union Pacific Omaha. Out.